We've gone through a lot of view options in this course, but we have even a few more. Let's say you're taking a section view, but you're only concerned with the cross section of your view. We've got something for that. We also have something known as a partial view. So stick around and we'll go through it. And here we have the back of the chair that we've been working on. Let's say that we want to portray this in a drawing environment. We'll go to send to and make drawing of this design. From here, I'll insert just the front view. Now this is a curvy shape and perhaps I want to portray different sections of this so that I can properly show how to loft it or show important points to measure from an inspection later on. Well, I can always start a sketch in my view and create a series of lines at places where I might think it is important to section from. And then I can, of course, in Sheets and Views, go to my section view and generate a section. And what you'll find is with these sections, I get, of course, the section, but this outer part is not necessary since I only wish to portray what the cross section looks like. And the, these extra lines can be quite distracting. So perhaps I'll delete my section view. And also, if I wish to enter or edit my sketch, I can always reactivate my sketch in my view. And I can choose something like a symmetric constraint if I wish my lines to be even, if that hasn't been mentioned before. And that's a great way to even up your section views. But I can also go to Sheets and Views, and I can say Removed Section. And if I select this to create a Remove Section, then you can see that I have my section view without all the extra stuff. So that can be a useful and great way to portray the section when that is important. Likewise, perhaps there's something else I wish to focus on in this drawing, like maybe the profile of this. Well, we went through, of course, using a sketch and creating a detail view, but we have other options as well. One thing I can do is insert a standard view, and I'll once again only insert a view of the front. Then I can create a sketch in the view and capture a particular area that I'm interested in. And when I deactivate, I can go to partial view, select my sketch, and then I can break that off to be only the part that I'm interested in. So partial views can be an alternative to detail views if you just wish to isolate something, but perhaps not rescale it or work off of another dependent view. And those are the views that we can make. And that's how we're going to handle our remove section and partial views. We've got even more in the videos to come.